Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to access the values using context object when the form is of type post. Now I'll go for the index and I'll make it as post. Come back. Now my form is of type post. So whenever it is of type post, I need to use the object of class form collection. And this time the process is little different. As we know that if type is post, all the value and keys are in the body of the form. So I need to collect everything in the action method parameter itself. I'll say form collection FC. I'm collecting it in FC. Now I'll try to read from FC. The process is simple. I will say fc of name and here I will say fc of name that is it. Now what is that it will do? It will have a collection of all the key value pairs in fc and we are reading one after the other from fc. Save this. Now I will execute it. Now this time I will try to insert Peter and age set 45 and I will say submit. I have a breakpoint. I will say F11. You got name. I will just go for quick watch. Quick watch. Name is Peter. I will say F11. I get age, I'll quick watch, age is 45, say 5. This should insert in my database again. Explore my table. I'll say show table data. And here it is. It is Peter and age 45. And this is the most common way of reading the values from the form whenever you are submitting it to the server. That means whenever you want to insert some data or update some data, normally we use post method. And if you want to read something, in that cases we use get method. So this is very simple. This is how you can access all the values or all the fields of your form from your action. So we saw two methods. One is parameterized method, which is common whether the type is get or put. Another is context object, which differs. If the type is get, I need to use request.query string. If the type is post, I need to use form collection. Now in our next video we are not going to see model binding. We will come to this feature later on. In our next video I will just try to show you how can we enhance our index. That means instead of writing form tag, instead of writing input tag, I can use HTML helper classes. I will redesign the same form with HTML helper classes and we will see the power of Razor engine in it. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much.